Hi, today we are going to learn uh, the timeline of embryology. Uh, as you all know, we if we uh, plot the time of our life, we all remember intuitively uh, the birthday, uh, the, the day when we were born and we have the feeling that that is the time when our life began. But actually our life began much more earlier. That is uh, in embryology, we are more concerned about this point and that is day zero when the actual fertilization began. Right. So this day is the day zero. This is defined as day zero. And if we uh, take a time duration from day zero till the time of birth, it is 38 weeks. And this is the duration of intrauterine life or the duration of uh, gestation. Uh, before this 38 weeks, you have what is called the prenatal period, prenatal period, and after birth, it is called the postnatal period. Okay, the two names are uh, given like that because natum, the word natum means birth. Prenatal is before birth, and postnatal is after birth. And this prenatal period, that means the intrauterine life, can be split further into further smaller segments, and that is important in our nomenclature in embryology. Uh, the first three weeks from day zero to the completion of three weeks till this point you call this as the germinal period okay after uh, from the third week to the eighth week that much duration is called the embryonic period now, why is it called germinal period okay we know that day zero is the point where fertilization will occur after fertilization you know a zygote will be formed the zygote will undergo cleavage divisions. Uh, it will form a mass of cells and that will be called morula. The morula will then form what is called blastocyst. Then it will form a bilaminar germ disc. Then it will form a trilaminar germ disc. All these are, as you know, bilaminar germ disc or trilaminar germ disc. They are all basically arrangement of cells. Okay, so that is why these are called uh, germ layers and that's why this period is called germinal period another term uh, term also uh, used here is an early embryonic period okay but from the third week to eight week you uh, call it an embryo proper that is called an embryo after eight week from ninth week onwards till birth you call that as the fetal period and you call it as fetus okay so this is a, a, a germ cell collection uh, this is an embryo and this is a fetus and after birth you know that after birth uh, till up to one year suppose this is one year till then you call it as an infant infant and uh, the first month of it that is the 28 days first uh, 28 days you call it as the newborn newborn or the neonate Okay, these are all standard terminologies and you have further term one to three years you call it toddler uh, then a, a child a younger child an older child teenagers adolescents like that okay but this terminology is very important for uh, studying embryology now uh, in the embryonic period is also i didn't mention about that the embryonic period is also very important because in the embryonic period especially third to eighth week most of the organogenesis specific tissues if, till then you had only cell aggregations but in the embryonic period this develops into specific tissues and organs that's why this time period is also called the period of organogenesis okay and uh, due to that reason uh, this much time is uh, very critical for the development of uh, the fetus any insults or any interference with a normal developmental pattern can affect the organ development uh, if it occurs in this time period if we uh, consider if we actually look from an obstetric point of view okay an obstetric and gynecology point of view if we think in that way actually the duration of pregnancy is considered to be 10 months okay 10 months is uh, equal to 40 weeks if we uh, take one month as four weeks then that is 40 weeks okay you can straight away see a discrepancy with this number this is 38 weeks but here it is 40 weeks so there is a clear two week discrepancy between these two why this two week discrepancy occurs and that is very important and we need to clarify that at the, this point itself uh, you know that uh, in an obstetric point of view from a mother's point of view when we take the history of the mother about the pregnancy uh, the pregnancy is calculated from the last menstrual period so 
uh, suppose I'm putting a point over here and showing that this is the last menstrual last menstrual period also called the last normal menstrual period okay uh, that is the point from where a pregnancy dating is calculated the dating that I said now is an embryology calculation that is a dating that we consider fertilization as the point as a standard from which all the measurements were taken we took the 38 week time 8 week time 3 week time everything was taken from fertilization but in an obstetric point of view everything is taken from the last menstrual period because that is easier to be taken in a history we cannot actually know at which point fertilization occurred so it is much more practical and important to know that the his when, when you take a obstetric history it is taken from the last menstrual period so you know that in a normal regular menstrual cycle it is 28 days that will be about uh, four weeks so that will almost approximately be around here right because this is two weeks okay, this will be two weeks and this is one week you you think like that okay so this is one week time and this is two week time okay that will be the point where the next menstrual period should have been okay and this point is at the mid of that cycle right this point is the mid of that cycle and mid cycle you know mid cycle is a point where ovulation occurs and a potential fertilization occurs okay so you can see that here there is a two week addition okay two week addition that's why when you always calculate from an obstetric point of view you always have a two week discrepancy i'll illustrate that from this point suppose the lady misses her period at this point okay and uh, she goes and tests uh, uh, for pregnancy and she understands that she is pregnant and you you say that that lady is actually four weeks pregnant okay four weeks pregnant but you already know from this chart itself you know that in a four week pregnant female okay uh, the lady is now four week pregnant according to the uh, dating from the last menstrual period but actually the embryo is only two weeks old Okay, so the always there is a description. This discrepancy is there throughout the intrauterine life. That is why the 38 week old embryo from the fertilization point. Okay, that means uh, at the, the fertilization age of 38 weeks corresponds to an age for, uh, from the last menstrual period. The age is 40 weeks. Both are actually the same. But the calculation standard is different. One is from fertilization, the other is from the last menstrual period. This last menstrual period is also important, but in embryology, we will be discussing this the, the from the fertilization point of view. So for example, if I say so that something is happening on day six or the first week or the second week, I will always be uh, mentioning on this time period. But you should also note that this is corresponding to the obstetric time period like this with a two week discrepancy okay this is this has some importance i'll come to that when we consider the first week or second week development now in within the obstetric period you also have uh, one important uh, term and that is the entire obstetric period of 40 weeks will be divided into three trimesters the first 14 weeks is called the first trimester the next 14 weeks that will be up to 28 weeks that will be called the second trimester and from 28 weeks till 40 weeks that is called the third trimester as you can see the first trimester includes the embryonic period and the germinal period i told you that is the most sensitive period because that is the time period when you have germ cells the time period when you have organogenesis and specific tissues will be formed so this is a very critical point in the embryo's life so corresponding to that and for the mother the first three months the first trimester it is a very critical point so with that that is about the timeline of embryology and with that we will learn the further uh, course of embryology as you know it begins from fertilization but before fertilization you need to know how gametes are produced so my first classes will be about gametes about gametogenesis then about spermatogenesis then about oogenesis and then we will start the stage for fertilization and we will proceed what all are going to happen in these weeks thank you